It's Wednesday, July 24th, 2013. I'm Adrian Jeffries, and I just beat Kanye Quest 3030. Next up, Kanye Quest 2, the notorious RPG. This is 90 Seconds on the Verge. Google's event this morning had a little something for everyone. The company announced a new Nexus 7 tablet that will come out July 30th, starting at $229. It'll have a high-resolution display and will be running the latest version of Android, 4.3 Jelly Bean. Google is also taking on AirPlay with an HDMI dongle called Chromecast. It lets users stream video to their television, and it works across multiple desktop and mobile platforms. Sadly, Google did not announce any new glowing doorstops. There's always next year. Apple announced its latest earnings, and while the company raked in a ton of cash, there are still a few areas of concern. The company reported $35.3 billion in revenue and $6.9 billion in profit, but that's actually down from the $8.8 billion in reported profit for the same time last year. It was also a decline from the profit Apple announced last quarter. Of course, a breakout new device could put Cupertino back on the upswing, and CEO Tim Cook has teased a, quote, exciting new product category for later this year. And finally, Gran Turismo may be speeding onto the big screen. The Wrap reports that Sony is developing a feature film adaptation of the racing game franchise. It joins similar projects in development at other studios, including Hot Wheels and Need for Speed. The only thing bigger than this news are The Rock's muscles. That's it for today's top stories. Coming up tomorrow, we delve into the Ponzi scheme that has stolen millions of bitcoins from around the globe. And that's why I keep mine stuffed in my mattress.